So, good day everyone. I am Gracie Cortez and this is experiment number 5. So, for experiment number 5, it is entitled as the data transmission through keypad. So, here we can see the objectives. And then, as for the discussion, I'm going to skip it. And for the procedure, it is in divided into part 1 and part 2. So, here in the procedure in the part 1, we're going to open the edits, the simulator. So, for the simulator, first, I'm going to copy the instructions given. And then, I'm going to delete this one because it it is not in actually included and then in this case i'm not going to use one i'm going i'm not going to use 100 to be able to see the output easily i'm going to use at least a thousand for the at least ten thousand for the update frequency so I'm going to click Okay, um, before of that, this is the keypad that we are going to use. And as we can see and observe that if we, um, uh, if we, if we put a pointer in the key, in a key, in the keypad, as we can see, the key number is different. Um, wait, it is not right. So the ha the hashtag like symbol is key zero. This is key one and this is key two. So I'm going to click assembly. Um, I'm going to click key zero and then assembly and then I'm going to run the program. So as you can see that the program is running and for ex for this part, I'm going to find the value of R O which is here. So for the second part. I'm going to um, change, create some changes in the code, which is changing the jump into into jump start. So I'm going to find that here. So here it is, and I'm going to change it into start, and then to the got key here, this part. I'm going to put this. So that's it. And here. And then again, I'm going to click a keypad and then assembly and then run. So as we can see, this is the equivalent binary of this one and then i'm going to click zero and then i'm going to run and this is the equivalent so again i am gracie cortez and experiment number five is entitled date transmission through keypad so that's it thank you